Hi, I'm David Soper, and I'm one of the technical marketing engineers supporting IMC management software, including our integrations with tools such as Ansible. In this demo, I will go through the Ansible module for standalone management, which connects with the Cisco Integrated Management Controller, or IMC. I'll also show a little bit about how example playbooks can be organized within Ansible, and roles for those playbooks and data can be organized. And then I'll show how the playbooks can actually be run to maintain desired state, including detection and remediation of configuration drift. Cisco's Integrated Management Controller, or IMC, supports a Python SDK built on top of the IMC XML API. And an example Python script is shown here that goes through RAID configuration. And in this script, typically you would have to connect to the IMC specify user credentials and then for virtual drive creation you would use some of the Python SDK methods to configure a virtual drive with a given RAID level and name. All of this code has to be written in Python and anything related to configuration changes or management has to be done directly in the code. With the Ansible module that's been developed, the user can specify desired state, such as RAID level, drive group, controller, and size. And then the Ansible module will place the system in that desired state and keep it within that state. Now I'll take a look at how some of the data is organized into Ansible playbooks. So the top level playbook that I'm showing here specifies which hosts I want to control and then several of the roles that I want to configure on those hosts including admin settings such as user access, NTP configuration, and LDAP configuration, storage settings for virtual drive setup, and boot configuration including boot order. The inventory file specifies hosts I want to control by name and then gives parameters for those hosts to control. In this example I have two hosts I will be controlling a C220 at IP address ending in 104 and a C240 standalone server with a management IP ending in 102. So for the roles that I use, Ansible will traverse my roles subdirectory and, and include playbooks within that, those subdirectories to carry out additional configuration tasks. The boot role specifies boot order and uses my Cisco IMC boot order precision module to specify boot devices and login credentials. Boot devices is a variable that is picked up from my group vars directory. And the use of variables here allows per host or group variables to be substituted in as needed within this playbook. Looking at that group vars directory and the configuration for all of my targets, I see that my boot devices specify the ordering type and name directory also specifies my NTP server configuration that I want. As this playbook is run, I can see that my common role checks for and would install the IMC, the Python IMC SDK if needed. And as this runs, I can see where desired state is already in place or where Ansible is making changes as indicated by the changed notifications. Within the storage role of this playbook, I will configure my virtual drives. And finally in my playbook, the boot role configures the boot order. And when complete, I get a summary of which changes have been made, how many to each of my servers and any failures or access problems with those servers. In the final part of this demo, I will show how Ansible 
can be used to maintain desired state if there are any configuration changes made on the server. So in logging in and looking at my Cisco IMC, I'll check the current storage configuration. And confirm that I have a virtual drive created based on the storage role. I can delete this virtual drive in the IMC's interface. And with the virtual drive deleted outside of Ansible's control, now I'll go back into Ansible and rerun the storage portion of one of my playbooks to reconfigure that virtual drive and confirm that Ansible sees the change and remediates the configuration drift. And I see that Ansible has detected the configuration drift and has made a change. And switching back to the IMC, I'll refresh its display. And I can confirm that my RAID 0 virtual drive on physical disk 3 has been put back into place. That concludes today's demo of the Cisco UCS Ansible module for standalone management on the IMC. For more information, please visit the following websites. Thank you.